2015 for Central Methodist. What do you have for expectations for your guys this year? Expectations. I mean, uh, I've been there eight years now, and uh, in the eight years that I've been there, I feel like we've come from being at the bottom of the conference to the middle of the conference. Now, over the next eight years, hopefully the next three, I'd really like to see us go from being in the middle of the conference to the top of the conference, and that's what we're working and trying to push to do. How do you take that next step? What are the challenges you foresee coming? Well, the biggest thing is just getting the pieces in place. I mean, it starts at the top with our administration. I mean, our president's been great. Our vice president, athletic director, the board, alums have been great in getting us the things that we need. I mean, to have an indoor turf facility, to have the weight room, a strength coach, uh, and all the things we have in place. Now the scholarship situation that we have that we didn't have before. I mean, the class we were able to sign last year, we wouldn't have been able to sign them a year ago. And it's just, it's a better situation all the way around. I think uh, because of our support, uh, it allows us as a coaching staff to get a better brand of student athlete in there. And I feel like we've already done pretty well with the student athletes that we brought in, but it even allows us to go to a higher level and even even bigger level now. Seems like as coaches build a program in eight years, I guess it could still be called building. You have an ideal of what you want your team to be. How close are you to getting your team identity-wise to where you want them to be, both offensively and defensively? Well, we'll find out this year. I mean, every year the team personality changes, and it's a different team. And uh, you know, the the thing that we've tried to do, I, I've always felt like we've been pretty decent one deep every year. Mm -hmm. um, and we started out the past two seasons in a row, starting out four and two, and then we'd always have injury, as everybody does. And we really have a tough time bouncing back from injury. And we've got to be better in our second string and our third string, being better two and three deep. And and uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have injuries again this year, but we've got to be much better as a coaching staff and as a team at bouncing back and adapting to different injuries. And I know you're getting ready to talk to uh, Jamal Williams here in a little bit, one of our receivers, and he had scored in eight straight games last year and until he got hurt in the middle of the season, and that really hurt us. We lost a lot, a lot of productivity with him being injured, and we've got to do a better job of coming back from that where we can uh, do what we need to do even though we may lose a player that's very vital to us. Talk about bouncing back and having to face adversity. The league schedule gets tougher this year. No more non-league games. The league adds two more great teams. How does it look from your coach's seat? Well, how awesome is that? I mean, you always hear people talking Division One football about the SEC and how tough it is. And, you know, I've been watching this league for years, being from Northeast Missouri, and I've watched it grow and develop in the Heart of America Conference. And uh, it's nice now to see our league that was already tough and already strong get even tougher and get even stronger, where I feel like now if you talk about NAI football in the United States of America, you better be talking about our league first. And we really feel like as a as a group of coaches in our league, and there's some great coaches in our league, that you're going to have to come through our league to get to where you want to get to in the playoffs. New TV deal this year for the league as well. How does that impact Central Methodist? Well, I mean, to have that social media and the television situation, I mean, how exciting for all of our student athletes for us. And more importantly, because I always felt like NAI football has some of the greatest stories out there for people to see that you don't actually get to see. I mean, uh, NFL and, and Division One have some great stories in itself, but you see some incredible stories come through NAI football. And I think uh, this year, uh, the t people that watch uh, NAI, and particularly in our league, you're going to be blown away by some of the kids that you meet this year. All right, 2015, senior year for you. What does that mean when you hear senior Jamal Williams? Um, not just being a senior, this being my last year, just another year to be productive in what I do, being productive in the classroom, being productive on the field, just making good memories and that can last forever. Numbers-wise, you've had a really good career so far. What do you want to get done in your senior season to really make it memorable? Um, just being a brother. I mean, it's, it's not about the numbers to me. It's more about being a brother, being a role model, carrying my team, being a part of the team, and leading them to a winning season. Coach talked about how he's built up the program. You guys have a chance to really build it again here over the next few years. What kind of step do you think you guys can take this season? A uh, huge step. I think we took a huge step last year. Like he said, the injuries kind of hurt us, my injury being one of them. So I think this year just being able to stay healthy and take what we did last year and finishing it on. How do you view yourself as a leader now that you're a senior? Um, I'm not real vocal, as you would say, a vocal leader, unless like I'm pissed off or something. I'm like, sure <laughs> tells you I need to control my anger sometimes, <laughs> so I can tell you that. But just first off, spreading within my receiver core and then spreading out to more of the offense and then spreading to the whole team. 
just taking it one step at a time. We got three weeks, three or four weeks to the um, first season opener. First week, take the receiver court. Second week, take the office. And then third week, mesh it all together so we get this first win. Let's talk about your offense. What's the identity of your offense? What will we see when we watch you guys play? More balanced. I think my sophomore year, two years ago, we was a little run heavy. Last year, I think we passed a lot in the beginning of it, and then we have to switch our identity. Now it's just more balanced, being able to take the spread, the pro-style offenses, and the all mesh together. Best part of being a Central Methodist football player is? Uh, being able to be a goofball whenever I want to. <laughs> And just laugh and have jokes with everybody around me. I know everybody talks about family, but this is one genuine family all together. We might fight, might get in trouble together, but we all stick together through everything.